This is just the latest move for the Finns, addressing a lot of needs on offense. They improved their O-line with Teron Armstead and Connor Williams signing. That run game was among the worst in the league under Brian Flores. Uh, they tried to shore that up, signing running backs Chase Edmonds and Raheem Mostert as we now welcome in NFL analyst Robert Griffin III. So in that move they contemplated initially, obviously, and didn't make was trading for Deshaun Watson. So now here we are. We have Tua. He has a lot of talent to work with. He has Mike McDaniel calling the offense. How much pressure, Robert, is Tua under to succeed this upcoming season? Well, Hannah, Tua is under more pressure than a lawyer who knows his client is guilty. But in years past, Tua has had these built-in excuses because he's been playing by an, behind an atrocious offensive line. So now head coach Mike McDaniel has brought in Teron Armstead, brought in Connor Williams to give Tua an opportunity to breathe in the pocket and push the ball down the field, which he did at an elite level in college, completing 54.4% of his passes beyond 25 yards, which made everyone fall in love with him. So now Tua has to focus small and let the big things fall into place. He's a faith-based guy, so God has blessed him with all of these weapons. He needs to build chemistry with those weapons. There was pressure on Tua before they brought in all this offensive talent, but I always say no pressure, no diamonds. Tua Tungo Vailoa has got to do it for Samoa. Well, you know what else adds a little bit of pressure there? I love your pep talk, and I hope he was listening to you uh, there, Robert, but he also has <laughs> Teddy Bridgewater sitting right there and waiting in the wings if this does not work out. So we'll see what happens there. Is there any other quarterback under more pressure than Tua? Oh, undoubtedly, Russell Wilson is under more pressure than Tua. Tua doesn't have to win a Super Bowl to prove he's a franchise player. But Russell Wilson has already proven he's a franchise player and proven that he's a Hall of Famer. So success will be judged a little bit differently for him. Russell Wilson won it out of Seattle, and now he has to prove that he can win without the Legion of Boom and Beast Mode. In the last two years, we've seen uh, Matt Stafford and Tom Brady go to new teams and win a Super Bowl in year one. So whether you think it's fair or not, Russell will be compared to those guys. So now Russell Wilson has to go out and show that he was the missing piece that the Broncos needed. Yep, listen, I got the first ever Super Bowl trophy for Seattle, went to back-to-back -back Super Bowls there, and now goes to a team that's missed the playoffs for the last six seasons. Uh, Robert, looking forward to talking to you in just a bit. Thanks. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.